for a teen arrested, now accused of killing a man in Tuscaloosa early this morning. Officers now say the shooting happened at an apartment complex, but that is not where the victim ended up. Brian Henry joins us live now from the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office with the latest in this case, Brian. Well, Morgan and Jonathan, investigators say the shooting happened around 2 o'clock this morning at Creekwood Village Apartments. Now, that is located on 40th Avenue here in Tuscaloosa. Police say several people drove to the Tuscaloosa Police Department's West Precinct with the victim inside the vehicle. Police say the victim died and he's been identified as 20-year-old Derek Wilder. Authorities say they've charged the teen suspect with capital murder and robbery, it appears to be the alleged motive. They knew each other, according to Captain Jack Kennedy. Uh, what I would like to say is this, and this case is a, is a really excellent example of this. Since 2 o'clock a.m. last night, the Violent Crimes Unit, which of course is composed of four police agencies, the District Court Magistrate, the District Attorney's Office, the U.S. Marshals Task Force, which is another task force composed of all police agencies, as well as the U.S. Marshals Service with the federal government, the West Alabama Narcotics Task Force, the Special Response Team, often called a SWAT team, from the Tuscaloosa Police Department, the cyber unit at the Tuscaloosa Police Department, as well as the cyber unit and analyst at the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office, were all involved in this case and this arrest. Um, and that cooperation is, is the reason that this case was able to come to such a quick resolution. Clearly a team effort by so many law enforcement agencies here in uh, Tuscaloosa County. Again, authorities say the juvenile faces a capital murder charge. This is Tuscaloosa County's 13th homicide of the year. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.